Hello everyone, CDR Studios here, and we are here with a uh, another figure review. I have just purchased the original, I think it's the original, well it's from 1993 so I assume it's the original, Godzilla Bandai 1954, and it is a very lovely figure. It's quite accurate to the, oh my god focus, Jesus Christ! It's focusing less than I do in maths. Ah! There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's probably the most accurate 54 figure to the original suit and or film. Um, the sculpt is very nice, uh, especially for the head. It looks a lot like the actual film. If I'll throw up an image. Yeah, very accurate. Um, the dorsal plates are very nice. They look. Eh. I like. I do like how they're how they're fo pointing in different directions, like in the original film, because they were quite wibbly wobbly. Um, it does have a, I don't know why, but it's got like white airbrushing on its, on the top of its head. And I'm not sure why. Um, I don't know, all these figures have like weird stuff on them. Uh, it has, what, one, two, three, four, five, five uh, points of articulation. Arms at the elbow, shoulder, leg at the thigh. And tail on a at the base on a swivel. Pretty standard Bandai fare. Um, I bought this from oh, what's, I have the card here. Um, Palm Cart Palm Cartney, and I'll show their business card here. Yeah, I bought them bought this from them they're very good that's where i bought my little pack of mini ultraman it came with this lovely little note i was quite happy when i saw that uh yeah not really sure what to say uh very good figure this was just a short review because i was kind of bored and wanting to do something and i just received this new figure um Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what else to say. Um. Yeah. Uh. Thank you for watching. If you are watching, if you're not, then uh, die in a hole. But yeah. Goodbye, everybody.